A lot of people don't believe me, but right after the surgery, I see more. Like, you think I'm kidding. People would be like, do you see less because your eyes are small? Annyeong gorgeous, it's Gina here. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I am sharing a deeply personal journey with you. I recently underwent double eyelid plastic surgery in South Korea. I believe in open conversations about personal choices, so I'm here to provide you with an informative and detailed overview of my experience. Before we get started, I am not here to promote plastic surgery or any kind of work. I am truly sharing my experience. Also, I legally cannot disclose where I got it done, the hospital and clinic's name by law. So please do not ask about where I got it. It's against the law in Korea. My experience might be very different from you because I speak Korean and you may not. Also to include, I do not have to disclose my personal medical history to anyone. So keep that in mind. Be nice to me. So if you're super against plastic surgery and you just don't like the idea of the plastic surgery, this video may not be for you. So you can just kindly excel. Check out my other fun videos because this one might be a long and detailed and some visual video. Now that that's covered, let's get back into the topic. Shall we? Let's go. Gotcha! Let's talk about the why. For me, this decision was rooted in my insecurities. I grew up in Korea where I was heavily criticized by my appearance. Ever since I was little, I was always commented by how small my eyes were and I always looked upset. With monolids, I was always told that if I'm not smiling, people thought I was mad or people assumed that I was in a bad mood or I just looked scary. I just looked really sharp and like angry and I really didn't like that. I had to live with it because it was my eyes but I was told by many 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 several many different people about my eyes. How I look so angry, how I should always be smiling because I look upset and things like that. Before people would be like, do you see little? Do you see less? Because your eyes are small. There were literally friends told me that my eyes are like slit, like slit because my eyes were so small. How rude is that? It's within our culture to comment on people's appearance and for foreigners, it might be a very difficult concept and foreign concept to understand. Double eyelid plastic surgery is very socially accepted. I say it like in American culture, you know how everybody accept the fact that everybody gets braces? They get their teeth fixed at such a young age. I believe that's like an American thing, but in Korea, everybody get this double eyelid surgery when they're young as young as like in high school too or even in middle school it's socially acceptable because we believe it enhances our appearance which takes a big part on our hyper competitive culture. I cannot say double eyelid surgery is only good for the cosmetic. There is definitely are people who need it because their eyes are too hooded or they have eyelashes curling in and poking and things like that. For me, it was cosmetic and security thing. If you're wondering what I looked like before the surgery, you can check out my video over here that I posted last year. I try to look as similar as possible wearing the same shirt in the same light settings. Make sure to check that video out. Actually, I was fine with my face before. I was happy with my eyes before because I got used to my face, duh. And last year, I turned 30. I've had monoliths for the last 30 years. I was ready for the change. And since this decision is permanent, there is no going back onto having monoliths. Like there's no way of me, oh, I don't like this double eyelid. I'm gonna take it off. Back to monoliths. Like there's no surgery like that. So I knew it was permanent. Am I going to be okay of having double eyelids for the next 60 plus years? if I were to live that long? And the answer was yes. That's really what happened. I was ready to move on. 
It is crucial to emphasize that everyone's journey is unique, and this is a personal choice that I've made for myself. Now let's discuss the process. From the initial research to finding the right clinic, understanding the procedure and consultation, every step matters. Okay, and I want you to have a clear understanding of what goes into making this decision. Initially, before I flew to Korea, I live in the US. So I was looking up on Instagram and there were a couple of clinics, plastic surgery places that I found online. I visited four different clinics in total. I booked consultations to all these clinics, plastic surgery place, it's just so popular, foreigners everywhere. They do have translators available and they're targeting foreigners. And like, they're like a giant corporation. They have multiple doctors and they have lines out the door. They have a whole building just under the name of plastic surgery. It was crazy to even witness that. And then plastic surgery, I found them on social media. I really wanted to like this place. They are newer. They quoted me double the money. Like I was like, oh, how come this is a lot more? And they said, oh, like the doctor will operate and they will sew it neatly. I'm just like, that is BS. That didn't make sense. What I was looking for was Yes, the price tag. I also saw a lot of um, before and after pictures and I told them straight up. I was like, oh, I'm thinking about it, but I don't know if I will do it. I'm just shopping around. I think that attitude, they can tell. And this is a business for them. So they want that money from us, from you. So you kind of have to play this game. That took about a whole day, just going around to different clinics and waiting. The waiting part was long. Average of like, I had to wait about an hour just to see the doctor. If I didn't book the surgery, which I didn't with the three other ones, I had to pay them like a consultation fee, which was 10,000 won, which is about seven to eight dollars US. Negotiating the terms of any medical procedure is an essential part of the process. I will walk you through my experience in negotiating details, understanding the cost, and ensuring that I was comfortable with every aspect of the surgery. After meeting with several doctors, I kind of got the idea of the price range. The price range was 1.7 million won to three 3.9 million won. Some plastic surgery places in the US, K-Town specific in LA, they quoted me six to seven thousand dollars US. The same surgery. As bad as it sounds, if you're a foreigner coming to Korea for plastic surgery, these clinics want the extra cash from the foreigners. So the place that I actually got the surgery with, they quoted me a certain number and it was quite high than I expected and it was above my budget. So what I did was I actually stepped out and I was like, hey, um, let me talk to this other clinic that I'm speaking to. I have an appointment with them. I didn't, but they don't need to know that. So I was like stepping outside on the phone. You know, I was like kind of bluffing in a way and I was stepped out. Like I kind of wanted to show them that like, there are so many other clinics. There are so many different plastic surgery places in Korea. So I can go to anywhere. I have an option. So then that happened. And then 20 minutes later, the consultant was like, oh, please come in. Like, we'll match your price. So that's how I negotiated the price. The funny thing was the lady was like, oh, do you have all your money? Meaning she wanted all in cash. And I was like, I, I want to use my credit, like international credit card, you know, like I see. The thing about plastic surgery places in Korea is everything has to be in cash. That's why there are so many plastic surgery places in Korea because it's all cash business. So either you have to do a bank transfer or you literally have to bring in cash. They will not take the credit card. That's the crazy part. We finally got to the price that we both agreed, both the clinic and myself agreed on. So that was made. I know many of you guys are curious about the financial aspect. Transparency is key. So I will share how much I paid for the procedure. So for the cost, I paid 2.2 million won, about $1,800 in US 
for this price range, I believed it to be slightly over than the average, average surgery cost, but I liked that this clinic did not have any BS other than the negotiating part. I like that this doctor has been performing for the past 10 plus years. The surgery itself, I paid 2.2 million won. Post-op, I got the medication after the surgery. That costed about around $50 US. I would say about it cost $1,900 US. Just the surgery itself and the medication after. Not including like my stays, food, and all that. I'll take it behind the scenes of the day that I got double eyelid plastic surgery in Korea. It was on a Saturday. I walked in knowing that I could possibly get the surgery on this day. When I booked the appointment, well, I did speak Korean. So I said, I want to consult before, but possibly I want to do the same day procedure. The night before I stopped eating at like 8 p.m. And then the morning of, I didn't drink any water. I didn't eat anything in case I went into the surgery that day which it happened, which I did. So from the arrival at the clinic, I saw the doctor, we consulted, we ne negotiated the price. That took about an hour total. After I transferred the money, after the payment happened, the doctor came in and he drew the lines. He left a bunch of marks. The next thing I know is I'm lying down. This may be graphic to some of y'all. So if you don't want to be heard about details of the surgery, please skip to the next part. So during surgery, I've never been under. I've never gone under of any type of like anesthesia. Like I've been sober and I've been awake this whole life. You know what I mean? Like I've been conscious. I just woke up from anxiety because I was like, oh my gosh, where am I? I'm like in the operating room, obviously. And then I hear the beeping noise. And then the doctor is like, oh, like the patient woke up like early, whatever. And then I was like, okay. And then he tells me to open my eyes. So I open and I think he's like trying to see like where to stitch and stuff. While I was like half awake, I can hear their conversation between nurses and the doctor and they're talking about politics in Korea, talking about drama in Korea. And then literally in my head, can you please focus on my surgery? I almost said that you guys, like I was literally lying. I was like thinking and I was like, should I say it or not? Should I say it or not? I obviously can't really see anything. Everything's like blurry. Thank God I kept my mouth shut. I could like hear everything. I was like paranoid that I would say too much. So I was like, hey nurse, like, could you please tape my mouth? Could you put a piece of tape on my mouth so I don't talk? I actually said that to the nurse and the nurse was like, no. Just like that, I was done. It honestly it wasn't painful. Like I also have very high pain tolerance. It really didn't hurt that much after an hour and a half the surgery was done super quick after you're done with the surgery the nurse will bring you to the recovery room we have this like ice pack put it on my eyes for about 20 minutes and they also provide you like a blanket and then they make sure you're not feeling dizzy and make sure you're okay and then i was sent home just like that uh they handed me a prescription and they normally have a pharmacy around the clinics. So I was able to go to one right away. I actually took a subway home. So including consulting, negotiation, surgery, recovery, everything took about less than three hours. Post-op is a critical phase. For sure. I'll share the immediate aftermath of the surgery from the recovery room to the first few days at home. What to expect, potential discomfort, and the initial changes. So immediately was, it's heavy. Like, eyes are heavy, puffy, and heavy. That's the uncomfortable part. And you have stitches, so pretty uncomfortable but you can still see things and you have to keep putting on these antibiotics on your eye, keeping it moist so then it doesn't break your skin, the surgery area. A lot of people don't believe me, but right after the surgery, I see more. Literally after the surgery, I do see more. This way, like I see more. It all makes sense now. Because my monolids, my eyelid was covering my vision, like it was hooded. It's like hooded eyes. It was covering my vision. I'm sorry if it's graphic. Surgery basically like removed the hood, you know what I mean? So after that, yeah, I do see more. Used to see less. 
So that was like a significant difference that I saw. I was told not to sleep flat the first night. I put like extra pillows and I was slightly inclined. Then it comes to downtime. Downtime is a crucial period of recovery. The clinic actually told me to come back the next day, the day after the surgery, just to clean and just to monitor how I'm doing with healing. On the sixth day, sixth day of the surgery, you're gonna go back, take the stitches out, take the after photos, and just like that, you're done. So the downtime for me was seven days a week. I was lucky enough where I got to take out the stitches on the fifth day, but they normally recommend on the sixth day just to be safe. I was in a time constraint trip, so I was able to get it done in one week. During that week, I couldn't wear makeup. Of course, I had to wear sunglasses until my stitches were out. I did get some bruises. During the summertime, I think it's easier, but in wintertime, it's definitely harder to kind of hide that. So overall, it was totally fine. A week just went by super quick. After the procedure, bruising, I didn't really have, but it varies by person. It may occur for, for about a couple of weeks. And then you can't drink. You can't smoke, you can't work out or lift heavy weights for about a month. And then the puffiness, they said you'll be puffy for about six months to a year. Honestly, I'm not mad about it. I'm really not mad about it because like it already looks so natural. It hasn't been a year since I've gotten it done. But like, do you see? They did warn me about scarring it's just so subtle i totally see why people travel to korea to get work done because it looks so natural take a look at my eyes look how natural natural i look and there you have it a detailed overview of my personal experience on double eyelid plastic surgery in korea this video is meant to be informative and for those people who are seeking or even just curious about this double eyelid plastic surgery in korea remember your choices are personal and the decision to undergo any cosmetic procedure should be made with careful consideration and understanding. And it is permanent and it is permanent. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe. And as always, thank you so much for being this open and supportive community. Until next time and take care. 안녕히 계세요.